What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm going to make this one special. I'm going to make this one as special as possible. You know what I've done? You know what I've done? The, the, from number 100 to number 51 were released instantly uh, by the NFL channel. Last week, in fact. It's been seven days. And what I've done is made my way. In fact, it's been six days. In fact, I reckon it's been five days. And what I've done is made my way slowly but surely, methodically, 10, 10, 15, and the rest, in four days, down to number 51. And here we go. I, I couldn't continue even if I wanted to. My name is White Morpheus. We're here today to react to Alvin Kamara. He's number 51 on the list of the top 100 players in 2022. He's a running back, plays for the Saints. When I think about Alvin Kamara, I think about the ability to absorb a hit absorb a tackle yet still stay on your feet you know what i mean uh this video is only two minutes 35 seconds long he's made his way into the top 50 i mean we'll call it top 50 51 50 is what it is at the end of the day there's nothing left to do but to do it let's get into I it i go against the best running back in the league in practice In his first year AB, after Breeze, Alvin Kamara carried the rock a career after high. After what? After Breeze. <laughs> first year AB, after Breeze, Alvin Kamara carried the rock a career high 240 times. Almost 50 carries more than his next highest season. Oh, I tell you what. Okay, okay. I slipped on this cunt. Did I call him a cunt? Yeah, I did. Up the middle goes Alvin Kamara, breaks a 10, 5, touchdown, Alvin Kamara. I still feel like... Okay, he balled out, he balled out. He's a, a top 5 back in this league. So what are you two? Bro, if he's a top 5 back in the league, why the hell is he only listed at 51? I'm assuming he should, he should be in the 30s, surely. So whether it's runner pass, whether he's getting the ball or not. He's a receiving back too. Everything go through AK. Toss Camara left. He bobbles it. He's still going to get in. He's explosive. Well, that was he's too electric. easy. He's amazing. What he does as far as running football and catching football as a bat field, he's always going to be a threat. What a catch by Camara. And we I'd love, if nothing else, to hear Camara actually speak. Seven. Kamara was named NFC Offensive Pl Kamara. Player of the Week after catching 10 passes for 128 yards and a touchdown. Bro, he's meant to be a fucking running back. What are you talking about? <laughs> what in the fuck? Game, he passed Roger Craig to become the fastest player in NFL history to reach 3,000 yards rushing and 3,000 yards receiving. Oh, I'm not surprised. If there's one guy that you gotta stop. Tell you me. what. Oh, Alvin Kamara, the record machine. Catching the football. First yeah. in the league to 3,000 rushing yards and 3,000 receiving yards. And he's only ranked 51. I'll tell you what, the only thing that does to me is make me more excited about who we're going to see oh, he can catch next on this screens. list. Quick pass to Alvin Kamara, wide open, 15, 10, 5, he will score. He can catch angle routes. A wide open oh, he can catch Kamara. Kamara. He can absorb any contact too. It's Watch very this. rare. Probably Watch just this. him and McCaffrey, who you Watch can this. line him up at receiver and just get the same production as maybe your receiver. That's Alvin Kamara, a little under route, 14 yards. He's completely different, and you know that's why when he's out there for the Saints, they are a much better team. New Orleans went 0-4 when Kamara was sidelined with a knee injury, but upon his return, finished with four wins and five tries. Highlighting his impact on the Saints' success. And I see him about the eight-yard line. I see a guy chasing him. One guy is no, nah, just no shot, <laughs> no shot. Touchdown. Honestly, I thought he should have been stopped there. I really did. He does a great job of absorbing contact. So you'll go to hit him, and he'll absorb it, and then fall back a little bit, and then stay on his feet. He's truly one of a kind. Well, he can certainly absorb contact, and would you believe, I've worked my way all the way through this playlist, 
and the next video is the Jags vs Patriots. <laughs> which came out in 2018. NFL AFC Championship game highlights. 5 million views. We won't be watching that today. But what we will be doing is um you know you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get that shit out of there. And I'm gonna talk to you as a man right here, right now. Here we go. Alright. So it's I, I look, um Am I White Morpheus? Well, for today I was. I'm not even sure if Morpheus took off his glasses. I'm pretty sure he did. Either way, guys, um, how fun is this series? You know, I've completed half of it in four days, and that is that's some hustle. You know what I mean? That's that's some real hustle. That is me wanting to reignite uh, the passion and the views behind my YouTube channel. You know, this is this is basically my this is my passion. This is what I do. This is what I want to do. Um, whether it will be a long term thing, I don't know. But it's certainly been a fucking ride for the last five years and you guys have been here for it. Um Yeah, it's it's a it's a roller coaster, you know, trying to be a, a so called YouTuber. One of those, you know, lower tier YouTubers. You know, they might have had somewhat of like an explosion, so to speak, which I, you know, I did. I had, I went from 15,000 to 100,000 subs within about three months. But that didn't come through no effort of my own. You know, I, I, I put in the fucking work. I was pumping out three videos a day for three months to make sure that I got from that 15,000 mark to that 100,000 mark. And here we are, you know, I'm going to say three or four years later, and it's gone from 100,000 to 150,000. So I I would have absolutely loved to continue to bring in the viewers, to continue to entice uh, the viewers, but it just hasn't happened like that. And I've had to absolutely fucking grind. I've had to absolutely just scrape tooth and nail um, for every single new subscriber. And I've done my best. I've absolutely, you know what I can say, you know what I can say, doesn't matter whether I've got that or not, and that is one of the, I tell you what, this thing, look guys, this, this was just absolutely incredible, um, and I reckon that it's actually been somewhat of a distraction, it was seductive, this thing, this thing was seductive. Because, you know, I did go from 15,000 to 100,000 subscribers relatively quickly. But we've gone from 100,000 to 150,000 uh, a lot slow, a lot more slowly. And, you know, the only thing that's going to continue that, that growth is for me to continue to put my, my all into my content. And um, that's what I'm doing, man. That's what I'm doing. So, you know, here we are. <laughs> Four days. Four days! And I've completed from number 100 to number 51 of the top 100 NFL players of 2022. It's been an absolute pleasure. Look, guys, if I'm in a good mood, I can do absolutely anything for as long as I want. If I'm in a bad mood, I ain't doing nothing. And you know what? Everyone gets into good moods. Everyone gets into bad moods. It's the ability to manage that. It's the ability to average it out. You know what I mean? And... When you're in the bad moods, you can still do what you need to do. When you're in the good moods, hey, you might be able to do more. But knowing that eventually you are going to come down to that sort of even keel. And you might even go below. Look guys, my mental health has been an absolute shit show. I'm doing my absolute very best. For anyone who's still watching this video, thank you. Thank you so much. Um... And look, I will say that I don't mind. I do not mind. I do not mind being White Morpheus. Don't mind it. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, look, I'll see you on Sunday afternoon for me. Sunday morning for you. Might even be Monday morning for me. After an absolutely incredible weekend of combat sports, we've got the BKFC London, we've got Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk 2, 
And uh, following that, we've got uh, UFC 278. And for a guy who absolutely loves combat sports, um, this weekend is going to be absolutely incredible. So for me, from me, White Morpheus to you, I'm saying sayonara, avidase, bonsoir, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys, and peace out. White Morpheus, eh? Where are we?